Fighting evil by daylight. Winning love by moonlight. Never running from a real fight. She is the one named Sailor Moon. She will never turn her back on a friend. She is always there to defend. She is the one of whom we can depend. She is the one named Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is my mentor. She has been ever since I was a preteen. She may seem like an odd mentor to have at my age, but let me talk about a backstory a little bit. To start off with, let's talk about her competition. First, there was the Power Rangers. Let's be serious. They're a bit ridiculous, and their outfits were lame. Then there was She-Ra, but I found She-Ra to be a little scary. Then there was that girl Blossom, but she always had these goofy hats she wore. And then there was Beavis and Butthead, equivocal that they would be anything I'd be interested in. I hated that show. And then there was the closest competition, Rainbow Bright. Sure, she wore cute outfits, she had a horse with rainbow-colored hair and fun-loving friends. But she was missing one important thing, which was romance, something I had started to become interested in. Then there was Sailor Moon. She had cute hairdos, big eyes like myself, amazing-looking outfits, and her closest advisor and friend, a cat. Perfect! When I was a preteen, I went shopping at my favorite store, Toys R Us. As I was shopping, I stumbled upon these dolls that just look so cute. I used my allowance and bought every single one in the series. I didn't know the story behind them, so as I played with them, I just made up my own thing. Then one day, my dad set up this thing at my house called the internet and told me I could try using it. I sat down at the computer, typed in the words of my dolls, Sailor Moon. Suddenly, all these photos and videos popped up, not of the dolls, but of a TV show. I had to know more. I watched all of the dubbed over videos in English and all of the subtitled videos I ordered from Japan. I was in love. The series follows these teenage girls that live in Tokyo. They go to school by day and fight evil by night. There was a cute boy named Tuxedo Mask who would save Sailor Moon and her friends every time they needed him. I was amazed. At the time, I lived in a town of 50,000 people. I didn't understand how teenagers could be roaming around such a huge metropolitan city unattended, which is actually the case in Tokyo. Even first and second graders go around the city by themselves. They even had their own apartments. These girls were clumsy, goofy, loving friends. In high school, I decided to learn more about the city that Sailor Moon lived in. Every opportunity that I got to study or pick my project in a class, I chose Japan. The more I learned about Japan, the more I fell in love with it. I learned about the Japanese tea gardens, the Zen gardens. I learned about the samurais, the geisha, and the ninjas, which I decided I'd grow up to become. <laughs> Everything I learned about Japan made me realize that I had to go visit it. So my junior year, I applied to become an exchange student and was accepted. That summer, I moved, or that summer I visited there and proceeded to visit again two more times. Once in the Marines and once as an English teacher in Tokyo, Sailor Moon's hometown. As you can see, Sailor Moon affected a lot of decisions made in my life. She, she also influenced my habits and beliefs. 
Sailor Moon was very klutzy, always late, very loud, always happy. And people loved her for it. And maybe naturally a loud, happy, and a bit of a space cadet. But watching her show didn't hurt to influence that part of me. One trait that I definitely feel I got from Sailor Moon was her love for her friends and family. She may not always be the best, but she would do her best to protect the ones she loves. I agree with this 100%. In fact, it might be part of the reason why I joined the military. I'm pretty easygoing about my own well-being, but when it comes to my friends and family, I will do anything to protect them, just like Sailor Moon. As you can see, Sailor Moon really is my mentor. She influenced me as a young girl, as I'm sure she influenced a lot of young girls out there. Her shows are still being aired around the world, teaching young girls that it's okay to be a little silly and goofy as long as you stand up for what you believe in. Perhaps if I have young girls someday who have an exceptional liking for cats, I will introduce them to the bright-eyed young girl that changed my life. She is the one named Sailor Moon. Thank you. <laughs>